Every second of every day, your brain is choosing what to ignore and what to pay attention to. But we all hear, see and feel the world in different ways. There's one condition, though, that really impacts how you communicate with people around you and sense the world. It affects over one in a hundred people and it's called Autism Spectrum Disorder, or Autism for short. This is Alex. He's 10 and he has autism. So, Alex, if you have to explain to people what it's like for you having autism, what, what do you say? It can cause me a lot of difficulties in day-to-day -day life um, because I absolutely love crowds and busy areas and people brushing past me. Someone with autism is on the autism spectrum. This is like a scale and different people are affected in different ways. We've come to the park and set up an experiment to demonstrate how Alex's autism affects his senses. What I've done is I've labelled the faders, which are like the volume knobs, with different sounds. And these are all the sounds we can hear around us. And when you're talking, I know there's a bit of traffic, there's some birds singing, I can hear the kids playing over there in the playground, there's a dog barking. But mainly, I can hear you, and my brain can just turn all these other sounds off. Can you show me maybe what it's like for you? I don't have as much control over it, so I'll just read them all up there. But then I won't be able to block those out a little bit. But I can't block them out anywhere near as much as you did. Being overloaded with all this sensory information can lead to something called a meltdown. What's it like when you're having a meltdown in your head? Well, I just really kind of um, upset and angry and, I suppose, distressed and then I'd I'm really not calm. Although autism can be disorientating and confusing, some autistic people are able to concentrate incredibly well on something they love. And for Alex, that's filmmaking. We've come to the Autism Show in Manchester. With us are some of Alex's friends who often act in his films. What do you think it is about autism and directing films that those two things work quite well together? Focusing on one task that he's doing at once. Yeah, he's very focused and a lot of the time has better ideas than us. To help Alex's friends understand what it can be like to have autism, we're giving them these virtual reality goggles and headphones which will play an autism simulation. Why don't you try it? Do you know, I've never tried virtual reality before. I can hear every single noise in this room and the light is very dazzling and I can't focus on the thing I think I need to be paying attention to is this lady who's telling me to wait but I can't understand what she's saying. Wow! What did you think of it, Jacob? It was really intense of what was going to happen next. It's very overwhelming, like... You can't concentrate on one thing because there's just so much going on. I thought it explained to me a lot more about how being autistic is. And it was kind of stressful. You might know someone with autism. You may have autism yourself. But even if you do, it can be very hard to know what other people with autism are going through. There are a few things you can do to help. You can give people time. You can speak really clearly and you can remember that someone with autism may be experiencing the world in a more stressful way. Most importantly, autism isn't the main thing about anybody. People on the autism spectrum can still do absolutely amazing things. And I'm certain that one day I'm going to be in the cinema watching a film directed by Alex.